Here's how I achieve dynamic lighting effects in my game, and it's called Normal Match. Hi, I'm a 15 years old beginner game dev, and I'm, I have been making games for a couple months now. So recently, I was working on the visual effects and lightings for my game Lost Holes, and I found out about Normal Match and decided to try it out. For those who don't know, normal maps are essentially 2D textures which stores the direction of the normal vector to a surface on its RGB channels. I have seen a bunch of tutorials on how to create normal maps, but they are more often used in 3D games to achieve high quality lighting with less cost. In 2D games, we don't even have surface with normal vectors to calculate lighting, we only have a flat sprite. Using normal maps, we can give the illusion that the sprite has some kind of volume when it is affected by light. The first thing you're gonna do is you import your sprite. So right here, um, I believe this one is import? Yeah, import. Okay. So anything you want, for example, I'm going to be importing my okay let's just do backpack again you know what okay open here and you can see the sprite so on the top right you can go to normal map so it just became normal map automatically so now click Turn on pixelated. This is the. I don't really know how to use this, guys, but you know, I just mess around with the settings and yeah, it works. So let's get started and open Godot. So the first thing I'm going to do is um, I'm going to be adding a new sprite. And over here, you can see a texture property right here. And click on it and go to um, canvas, new canvas texture, this one. And then you can see diffuse and normal map. So normal map is obviously a normal map and you can add the texture over here and diffuse is basically your base sprite for example um, the one that we just created I'm going to search for it this is the normal sprite right just a normal um, pixel art with shading and what I'm gonna do is go here and add the diffuse in the normal sprite in the diffuse texture and we have uh, the one that we created with uh, the software that we used to generate a uh, normal map we can just drag it in here and boom you got a normal map thing so you can see the engine does the work so now if we go and add a point light 2D, right? A point light just to add a light. Okay, I'm gonna find this right here. Wait. Texture, okay. Boom, now I have a light. I wanna remove this mushroom right here. It's annoying. Hmm, where's my mushroom? And I'm gonna remove spirit because the light is affecting it. And over here, see you can see the how it changes. Yeah, that's how normal map works. And without normal map, we can see the difference. Let's test it. Okay. Without normal map, it just looks like you can't see any like depth changes you can just see like you see a difference I don't know how to describe it but basically this one just looks better with normal map so yeah that's how you create normal map in Godot